Cyber Talk Fam. We talked about ABO antigen bud groups already, and in that video, we talked briefly about the H antigen. The H antigen is the precursor for A and B antigen. It serves as a base sugar for A and B enzymes to add on sugar to the H antigen and convert it to either A or B antigen. This makes the H antigen important in ABO blood group. In this video, we will take a closer look at the molecular genetics of the H antigen. This also includes when the H antigen is missing, which leads to Bombay phenotype. Without further ado, let us get into it. A person with blood type A, B, and O are all half H antigen, but the expression is more or less depending on the blood type. For instance, a person with group O blood type has a higher expression of H antigen on the RBC than an individual with type A or B because the H antigen does not get converted to A or B antigen. You can find detail about this more in the ABO blood group antigen video. Let's get back to the H antigen. We can test the amount of H antigen on the RBC by using Antisera H lactin. The Antisera H lactin comes from a plant extract. Here is the highest to the lowest amount of H antigen on RBC. The H antigen is coded for glucosal transferase enzymes, which are capable of synthesis H antigen. There are two group enzymes, fruit 1 synthesis H antigen on the RBC's membrane, and the fruit 2 is the enzyme that synthesis H antigen in secretion, if the secretion genes also present. Now that we know about the genetic and the structure of the H antigen, we also know that the H antigen is a precursor for ABO blood group. Let me throw a curveball. What if there's no expressions of the H antigen? What is the blood type of a person would be? Just take a moment and think about it. If there's no foundation, can you build anything on top? The lack of expressions of H antigen on RBC means there is no H antigen on the RBC. This creates a rare condition called new phenotype which can be written as O subscription H, more commonly referred to as Bombay phenotype. A person with Bombay phenotype is rare. Since it is autosomal recessive, genetically, a Bombay phenotype person is homozygous for non-functional both H and secretor genes. This leads to unique characteristics of Bombay phenotype, which are the lack of A, B, and H antigen expressions in both on the RBCs and in the secretions. Let me try to say it in another way. I hope this is not too confusing. No phenotype people do not have fructosal transferase to make the H antigen. The A and B enzymes cannot add A or B sugar because there's no precursor to start with. This happened to both type 1 and type 2 chain. So it results in complete absence of A, B, and H antigen on the surface of RBC and in the secretion. What would the reaction look like for a Bombay person? If we perform a blood type on a Bombay person, this is what we would see. The forward and the reward reactions look like type O person. There would be no reactions in the forward typing because a Bombay patient do not have A, or B antigen, which is the same as the group O blood type. No antigen on RBCs mean no agglutination. There will be strong reaction in the reverse typing because the individual carry A and B antibodies in the plasma. Note that a Bombay person also contains anti-H, which reacts with group O RBCs and can cause hemolysis in our body. How can we tell the differences between an individual with group O blood type and the individual with Bombay blood type when both of them react the same in blood typing? Well, even though the patients with O and Bombay blood type react the same for forward and reverse type, but they do not react the same with the anti H lactin. A person with group O blood type will agglutinate with anti H lactin, while a Bombay person does not. But when do we know to perform anti-CRH lactin tests? 
since it is not a part of the normal routine process when performing patient blood type. We know it when we perform antibody screen. The patients with no phenotype show strong agglutination to all group O RBCs. This is because group O RBC has the most H antigen expression on the RBC surface. So in recap, we can confirm that the patient is a Bombay patient by First, there is no agglutination with anti sera H lactin because there are no H antigen on the RBCs. Second, the presence of H antibody in serums of plasma, which can be demonstrated by testing the patient's serum of plasma with O RBCs. You will have a strong reaction to all group O RBCs, but will not have any reactions when tested with another new RBC. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank? Chemistry? Microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talks. And as always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.